and do what you told her to. But how did you figure that out? What things did you put together? What things did you put together to figure it out? What things did you put together, Sasha? What you saw or what you heard? You heard me say. Okay. And you know, what do you know about a check? What do you know about a check? Why do you get checks? Because you're not doing the right thing. So we heard and saw Mr. Chisholm say, and you know that when you get a check, it's because you didn't make a good choice. So Tori must not have made a good choice. Did I say that Tori didn't make a good choice? Did someone tell you that Tori didn't make a good choice? No. You figured it out using what you noticed, what you know, and what you know, what you know, to answer the question why, to answer the question, why? as good readers, hands folded, tracking me, as good readers, that's what you do whenever you read a story. Remember, with this group especially, fix your chair, we're working on why, why the character did something, how the character feels, but we can't figure that out unless we notice, unless we what the character is. Okay. So who can raise a silent hand? What is an inference? What is an inference? What does it mean as a good reader to make an inference? Hands hold are tracking Nicole Ray. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You use what happened to answer what question? What question are you asking yourself as you read as a good reader? What question are you asking yourself? What question? What question? That is probably, friends, the most important question that you ask yourself as a good reader. That question is, why? Why? Why did he say that? Why did she do that? Why did she think that? Why did she feel that? What's happening in the story? Okay? What do you know that could explain why? As First graders, we call that the motivation. We call that the? We call that the cause. We call that the? What caused you to do that? What caused you to feel sad? What caused you to feel happy? What motivated you to try your best? I'm speaking, your hand should be folded and you should be listening to me. So as good readers, we always stop and ask the question, we stop and ask the question, why the character But we also, before we can ask why, we need to notice. We need to So we need to be looking and listening for what that character is saying, doing, thinking, and feeling. And then we also need to ask the question why, okay? So now, we're going to read the story, Mass Around the World, check. We're going to read the story, Solve Your Problem, Mass Around the World, okay? And as we read this story today, we're going to make inferences. We're going to make, we're going to ask the question why. We're going to ask the question but before we start, let's see what we remember about this story. Let's see what we remember about that story, okay? 